Whip out, whip up. Um, we're gonna be doing this some more later, uh, but I don't think you guys can ever get enough reps of these. So we're working on bringing the, the knees to the chest to push them forward, whip out, whip up, get to my uh, electric unders, right? From here, he's sprawling that knee, killing my, my control, which is my cue to go to dog fight. He's nice and low though when he does that. So I'm coming right in and getting this gable grip right under his ribs. And I'm gonna maintain that pressure into the side of his ribs as I release my lock down and go belly down. From here, I'm pushing off the mat with my head and my shoulder to come up to my knees. So now as he starts to come up, I'm already into that boa sleep. He doesn't even have a chance to get his posture and his positioning, right? <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Again, we're here, we're just gonna do, you know, some work with that whip out, whip up, and I'm looking for all this, he sprawls this leg, right, we're down. So I'm coming in right under those ribs, getting that gable grip, pulling right into that space, all right? From here, I'm unlocking my lockdown and going belly down. I stay posted on my head and shoulder, come up to my knees, and from here, as he comes up to sit back, I just sit him right back to the corner. When you walk around. How bad does that suck? Death. <laughs> All right. So this is one of those moves where when you're on top, you should feel it. When he pulls into those ribs for that sweep, you're just like, yes, please just go. Right? They don't want to fight you, you know, when, when you hit the right spot. So if you're having a hard time, find the hip bone, slide right up into the soft space right above the hip bone. All right? Let's hit three, two, one.